Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here. Today we are back on the YouTube grind with my first video in a little bit over three weeks, I think. So it's just been a little bit of some time. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an explanation of where I've been. I've been doing a lot of playing towards competitive, a lot of scrimming, a lot of tournament stuff like that. We've been falling short um, a little bit more than usual. So we've been... Instead of, you know, falling down and, you know, complaining, we're trying to grind a little bit harder, so it's cutting into my YouTube time, so I'm sorry about that. I'm definitely going to be back on my grind. On top of that, you guys already know I had COVID, and I also traveled to LA after I got COVID, so I've been a little bit busy, but no excuses uh, for no videos in three weeks. I'll be back on my grind, and with that being said, we have another video for you guys that you guys seem to like pretty often which is just the top 10 brawlers in the meta i have not done this for the new meta yet so let's just hop right into it and show you guys the 10 strongest brawlers in brawl stars right now so coming in at number 10 we have squeak now squeak's just a really strong brawler especially in the draft meta when you have something like a spike on the other team or roughs maybe something that's just kind of mid-range tara sandy and then you can pick squeak into that you can really just mess them up um, it's pretty difficult for them to do anything to you and it's just a really strong brawler overall It's pretty dynamic in terms of its super the super actually does a lot of work It's one of those game-changing supers where if you hit someone with the super and you have the slow star power They're going to take a lot of damage They're gonna be slowed and likely more than not you're gonna end up killing them now squeak does have some weaknesses into brawlers like mortis ash buzz They once they grapple onto you there or dash onto you. There's just really nothing you can do you're gonna die and you kind of just have to accept that. Uh, but Squeak is a really good brawler. It's really annoying. It's kind of like the new modern day Sprout. Where Sprout used to just kind of clap everything. And was really annoying. And there's nothing you can do about it. Squeak is kind of like the new modern. Better, you know, improved version of Sprout. So Squeak's going to be our number 10 brawler. And let's keep moving on. So coming in at number 9. We have Bo. Now Bo isn't really your typical. Really super broken brawler as you can see a couple of them on your screen right now he's kind of just more you know chill more relaxed you know he does a lot of damage uh but not too much he has a lot of hp but not too much he has a lot of range but not too much his super is good but not too strong he's just a really well-rounded brawler and uh he's really good at the very top of the meta when you're speaking you know legendary power league high trophy ladder pushing bow is just really solid you can play him in a variety of different modes in a lot of different scenarios but it's not something that's just super broken and is going to 3v1 a game or is just, just feels utterly broken. So we're going to leave him at number 9 for now. Really good brawler, don't get me wrong. By the way, I don't know who this random dog is, but he was the GOAT. I mean, just look at that defense. Kills all three. What an absolute unit. But Bo is a very, very, very strong brawler. You definitely don't want to mess with a Bo, especially something like a powered up bow, like you can see right now. If you get hit for all three shots from a normal bow, it's something like 2,700, which is like a full bow uh, or a full bull shot. So it does a lot of damage, does a lot of has a lot of range it's just a really good brawler and if you like longer range brawlers mid-range brawlers if you like brawlers that you know there is a high skill cap on using it then i would definitely recommend bow and try it out uh, and that is going to be our number nine brawler now coming in at number eight we have lola now lola has been really good actually for a pretty long amount of time now there was a time where it was the most broken brawler in the game i believe this was back around the 2021 world finals so about six months ago and it got a little bit of a nerf and ever since there it's kind of just crept around you know the top 10 best brawlers in the game not too strong but definitely very overwhelming does a lot of damage has a lot of range it's just a very good brawler and then the ego mixed with like the gadget that just tanks everything and does no damage like that thing is just super 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 strong so uh definitely a really strong brawler we've gone over lola before kind of like a basic kit like a little bit of a better cult to say um, but it's really strong. If you had to upgrade one brawler, I'd probably highly recommend Lola being one of them because Lola is just always good. You can never really go wrong for Lola and it's good in a bunch of different modes. So that is going to be our number eight for the eighth best brawler in the game. All right. So coming in at number seven is actually one that I didn't think would be on this list until kind of recently. And we have Daryl. Now, Daryl has really quickly become one of my favorite brawlers inside of Brawl Stars and it is just really strong in this meta. Now it's really, it's really interesting actually to me how a lot of the times a brawler doesn't have to change for it to move up the meta, just brawlers that it counters, brawlers that it's good into just become meta, therefore that brawler, because it's a really weird kind of cycle of things, but Daryl's definitely moved up in the ranks a lot. A lot of squishier brawlers are higher up in the meta. A lot of brawlers that don't do well into Daryl are higher up in the meta. So because those brawlers are really strong, 
Daryl, which is good into all of them, is also going to be very strong. Um, it's good in a lot of different modes, not just modes where you need DPS like Heist. Um, obviously, it does struggle a lot on range maps, but out of all the tanks, I'd say Daryl is probably the most well-rounded because every 30 seconds you are going to eventually get that roll. So even if you're facing a Piper, a Bell, something like that, every 30 seconds you will at least be able to roll on them and try and get a kill. So I think this Brawler is just a pretty well-rounded tank. It's very good. Um, and I would also consider, if you like tanks, definitely upgrading Daryl because he's very good. That's going to be our number 7 Brawler. Let's move on to number 6. So coming in at number... I think number 6, we have... Crow. Now, Crow has been, again, one of the brawlers that's been on these lists for a really long time. Um, it's just really good, really well-rounded, and until they nerf that five-second slow that you can hit on as many targets as the other team has, this brawler is just never going to go down in the meta. The fact that you can just hit people and sell them for five seconds in a 3v3 game and do it to multiple brawlers on the... F it's just... It's too strong. It's too good. It's way too easy to get position when you slow them, and... I don't know if they should hard nerf it and make it like two seconds or something. Maybe lower it to like three and a half or four, something like that. But it's just way too good. It's not going to fall out of the meta. It's got like no HP, no damage, none of that. The poison is really annoying. Poison attacks in every game are always really annoying. Um, but the slow is what needs to be fixed. So hopefully they nerf it soon. Again, I don't want to see it really hard nerfed because I really like Crow as a brawler. I think it's a really cool brawler, but hopefully it does get a nerf. But yeah, that's kind of it for Crow. He said the same thing the last five times I've made this video. Top five brawler, really good, slow, really good, need nerf, you know, that's about it. So let's hop on to number five and let's keep it going. Coming in at number five, we have Gene. Now Gene um, hasn't really gotten a buff or a nerf in a really long time and it goes up and down the meta really often. It really depends on the other brawlers that are meta. Um, for example, you know, if it's a tank meta, Gene isn't necessarily going to be as good versus if it's a control meta. Uh, but at the moment, Gene is very strong. The vision gear definitely helped out Gene a lot. You guys understand that, you know, when Gene shoots, it's not just a shot. It's a shot and then a spread. Um, and with the vision gear being actually somewhat meta right now, the spread just makes it so easy to always know where someone is, always see them in the grass. And it's just a very, very strong brawler. And probably the most underrated thing about Gene is the healing it gives 400 per second when you're inside of the star powers radius. It's probably the best star power in the game by far. It's just so good. It keeps your teammates healed. Just every three seconds or beside a Gene, you automatically get over 1k healing. It's pretty strong. It's pretty busted. You re never really need to heal up if you're beside the Gene. And obviously the pull is a game changing mechanic in the game that has the highest priority, I think, in the game. Um, so it's just a really strong brawler always has been but right now a little bit more than usual So that is going to start our top five Let's move into number four and now we're moving into kind of really broken brawler territory So let's get into it and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number four We have Janet now This is kind of the start to brawlers that I think are really broken and don't really have a counter um, And it's gonna start off with Janet now Janet isn't as broken as it was before when it was just the best brawler on every map And you can't really beat it and there's you know, all that type of stuff. Um, but it's really good right now, still. There's nothing that really counters it. Um, it doesn't do too much damage, so if you kind of overwhelm it and you don't have enough DPS on your team, you might lose some games. But the fly is broken. The range is pretty good. Just everything about it is really good. Now, I will say when they changed it so you can't drop the boombox while you're mid-air, that was actually a really big nerf that I think most people don't perceive as a really big nerf. Being able to just fly over someone and while they wait two seconds to regenerate HP, you then don't, by the way, don't look at the screen. I'm kind of just fooling around. I know. So is Sans. You know, the Surge is just a pro player, apparently. Um, when you're just flying over top of someone and they wait two seconds to heal and then right before they heal, you just drop in midair something, land on them and then auto aim. That was not counterable. There was no way to stop that. And now that you can't do that, Janet has definitely moved down a tier in terms of how broken it is. But it's still a really good brawler. The fly is still really good. And it's still good on like every mode into basically everything. So that is going to be our number four brawler. To show you guys the top three, all three brawlers obviously are really good. So let's get into it and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number three, we have Penny. Now Penny on this list is probably the brawler that gets countered the least, I would say. Um, every brawler in this meta, I will say something that's really good about this meta is that there are a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean there are a lot of 
very strong brawlers, um, but none of them are just to the point where the game is broken and that brawler needs to be banned every time or anything like that. Um, so that's really cool. All the good brawlers have a counter. And I would kind of say that besides Penny. I mean, throwers are good into Penny, obviously, because of the turret. But besides that, I mean, you got the barrel for the aggressive uh, brawlers now. Like if a Bonnie's running at you or a Primo, you put the barrel down, you splash, you do a ton of damage. Um, I, it's just a really well-rounded brawler right now. They did nerf the range, so on a long range map, it probably wouldn't be as effective. But outside of that, it's really good. Would highly recommend maxing it right now. The new kit is awesome. It's a lot more fun than old Penny, so I would highly recommend playing it now. It's just super fun. Really good. Not broken, but really good. You guys can see if an aggro brawler goes up to you, just put the barrel down and you absolutely clap it. Um, and then obviously the turret is just super annoying if you're just playing control rather than going aggressive. So that is going to be our number three brawler. Let's move on to number two and uh, keep the list going. Coming in at number two, we have Carl. Now, Carl is such a weird brawler because half the time it is the most useless brawler in the game and the other half it is the best brawler in the game and it's all totally dependent on its attack because the gadget is dependent on the... Both gadgets are dependent on the attack. Star power is dependent on the attack. Your damage, your just everything is dependent on the attack. So it's such a weird brawler. Uh, but currently the brawler is very strong. The only issue with it is that things that with stuns and knockbacks and stuff like that really mess with it. Now the attack is so good and the HP is so good and the range is so good that because of that, it's still going to be number two, even though I think it is a fairly easy brawler to counter, especially in draft. Um, but yeah, it's just so good, so strong. The gadgets, are, like everything about it is just so good. You can team wipe so easily, stuff like that. So it's gonna be our number two brawler. Let's move on to number one, show you guys what it is. It definitely does need a nerf. I don't know. Let's just show you guys. It's so busted. Coming in at number one, we have Bonnie. Now, let me get it so that it's following me so you guys can see. It's just a broken cannon thing. It's like the cannon cart from Clash Royale. Not to say that that's broken. It's just, you know, a cannon on a cart, literally. But you just walk up and you auto-aim and you do a ton of damage and your gadget is broken and everything about it is just broken. You have more range than everyone, more HP than everyone. The only thing it's not good at is if an Ash, for example, like throws rats on you, there's nothing you can do about it. And then when you jump on someone with the little form, you just do so much damage on top of the fact that you're just a little cart thing. You can also just jump on someone and spray them, do a ton of damage. It's such a good brawler. It 100% needs a nerf. It's good in every single mode. It's a first pick in basically every single mode, every single map. 100% needs a nerf. Brawl Stars, please nerf it but that is going to round out the top 10 and be the number one brawler in this current meta so if you guys like the video you know like subscribe you know all that cool stuff comment uh, i'll try and get a little bit more back on the youtube grind but i appreciate you guys watching all of that and i will see you guys again soon peace hey you yes you there watching this on your phone have you ever wanted to be the best the most handsome the most loved player on your team and support your favorite creator at the same time well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.